where should a chief marketing officer start in this process? I think the answer actually goes back to one of the 12 principles that descri it's described in the book, and it's the notion of creating relevance for your customer. Because the thing about any kind of environmental change, such as a recession, for example, that is going to fundamentally change what is important to your customers. The way I would answer your question is, it's not just about which products or services in my portfolio should I be emphasizing, should I be doubling down on? The question might also be, are there services or products that don't even exist in our portfolio today or tweaks, bells and whistles to our services that we should actually introduce based on what is now relevant to customers in light of the challenges that they are facing? Whether that challenge is due to an economic downturn or due to a pandemic or any other environmental factor. That's, I think, the key thing for, for CMOs and, and C-suite executives to do is you need to step back and you need to say, how has the current environment shifted what is important to my customers? And how might I then emphasize different elements of my product portfolio? How might I then introduce other services or products that we've been working on that you know suddenly are perfectly timed given how our customers are feeling? That's how you have to make those decisions. You have to do it outside in. Uh, you've you've got to make sure you're, you're ridding the environment of any kind of navel gazing where you're making these decisions just with an inward focus, just based on the information that you have within your own office. You've got to go out to customers, understand what's important to them in that environment, and use that to inform your decisions. Mm -hmm.